Are we in this thing? Is the melanin on, honey? It is. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope you are doing fantastic. I am doing well. You've seen the title correctly. It's time for what you say happened now. The last time I did one of those was for that Capitol Hill bush. Okay. But a lot of you have asked me, Miss P, what did you think about the inauguration? Can you talk about it? Baby, I'm here. Let's go ahead and do this thing. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow your girl on social media at Miss TP90, okay? And also, I have another Instagram that y'all need to check out. Ooh, three O's is that good, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, I'm not going in order of the inauguration. We're just going to talk about it. Please, in the comment section, let's let's go back and forth. I enjoy your banter. Let's, let's do this. So, first of all, I just want to hit on Michelle LaVon Robinson Obama. Honey, she will forever be my flotus, okay? Honey, that, huh, that plum, head-to-toe, maroon, burgundy hybrid situation. Oh, Sergio Hudson, honey, you do fantastic work with Lotus, honey. It's just fantastic. It's so good. Oh, she looked fantastic. And honey, the bundles, child, was just giving me life. It's magical. The way that hair just set. I love a good old nasty bang. I loved how that bang, it didn't move. It didn't go nowhere. It was just hanging with her. I loved it. You know I love a good old nasty coat. I loved it. And hey, POTUS, he will forever be um, my president. But uh, Barack, he look good too. I will forever enjoy the Obamas, honey. And they out here living their best lives, doing what they got to do. And they will forever be in our hearts. We miss you dearly. But you did what you had to do for us, okay? So we're going to leave that alone. But it was so good to see them, honey. And, oh, that's what I was sitting here waiting for. I, I know I watched the rest of the inauguration. But I was just here to see what the Obamas, particularly uh, Flotus, what she was going to look like and the fit, okay? Because this last inauguration, okay, of he who must not be named, okay, Voldemort. All right. Uh, she wasn't here for it. She was like, you know what? I don't even want to be at this shit. Here I go. Hey, how y'all doing? Hello. I'm so excited that we have a vice president who look like me. Like, that's amazing. Like, I mean, she don't look like me, but you, you know what I'm trying to say. She's a woman, a black woman. She is a woman of color. I, I'm here for it. I love it. Oh, my God. The crazy thing, I was looking back and I said, in all of this, and y'all know politics to me is a bunch of bullshit, but in all of this political bullshitdom that we've been in all throughout the years, okay, there's been not no, not one female. I'm like, what the fuck? This is crazy. But a friend of mine, she made a lot of sense. She said, girl, we didn't have the voice that we had. We just now, I'm like, you know what, you're right. So now that we have a voice, we need to keep getting it together, 702, okay? We have to. We have to use our voice because women, particularly black women, run the world. We just do. I just want her to do her thing, okay? Please. I just want her to do her thing. And the thing is, how this inspires me is I can continue to do my thing, okay? Because I can see another woman. I can look up and see her. In this position of power, okay? So, it looks like this is not, because all my life, it just looked like, okay, so old white men, until President Barack Obama. But it was like, okay, so all the white men are the president of the United States. That's just how that goes, huh? Oh, okay, got it. But now they gotta put that shit in the history books. And I'm here for it. And I love it. And I'm so excited about it. And baby girl, I, I'm just here for it, honey. I'm here for it. Shout out to the poem by Amanda Gorman. Oh, my God. I was here for it. And baby, I listened to her story. I watched some interviews and y'all look that up because her story and how she got there. Oh my God. Amazing. We learned that quiet isn't always peace. I said, girl, girl. But just is, isn't always justice. I said, girl, if you don't, if you don't get off of this stick, get. Even though democracy can be delayed, it cannot be defeated. She has so many great points. I was just like, girl, this is good. This is great. Don't get to the musical selections. Uh -huh. Lady Gaga and all of her gaga -ness, honey. Now, that's one thing about Lady Gaga. She gonna show up and show out. She gonna do the most. She's gonna be dramatic, extra. And y'all know I'm extra and I'm here for it. When she came out and had that big ass parakeet on her in gold and had the gold mic and she was like y'all ready to go let's do this she knew all the camera angles i really thought she was gonna take that dress off and do like the hunger games and she was gonna catch on fire i really thought that that's what was going on because i was like she building me up for something honey. i don't know what's happening what you about to do gaga i didn't know what the hell she was about to do i said look you know a lot of shit has happened on capitol hill lately i wouldn't be surprised next musical selection uh 
J to the L-O. Hello. <sighs> the way Jennifer, let me get my mic. This is my mic, right? The way she, she, she stepped up to that mic like she was about to spit a verse or something. I said, oh, shit, J-Lo about to give it to us. What she about to do? This, I said, okay, that's what you would get ready to do. Okay. She did a hybrid of this land is your land, America the Beautiful, and then she did a splash of let's get loud. And out of nowhere, I'm like... Right here? I understood the intent behind it, but I said, where are we going with this? Then she brought it back in. I said, okay, Jake, girl, honey, I went, I didn't know where you was going. I didn't know. I was trying to roll with her. I didn't know where she was going, but honey, the way she held that mic, I thought she was holding her in. I said, girl, you better, where are you taking the notes? I'm going to leave her alone. I'm going to leave her alone. But I said, girl, we are not about to get loud on Capitol Hill this morning. But the way my mind... Looks like new money, honey. Baby, Jennifer gonna always look like a crisp hundred dollars, okay? You know when you get a crisp hundred dollars, you're like, whoo, I don't want to spend this thing. Jennifer looked just like that, honey. Oh, mm, I know A-Rod gave it a ride, and she was ready to go. Uncle Joe, that's how I'm going to reference the new POTUS, Uncle Joseph, okay? And Dr. Jill, okay? You better put some respect on her name. You're rooting for you, okay? <sighs> I'm... Hmm. Honey, I'm trying to tell y'all, don't do all this political bullshit, but I, we voted, honey. We we want some change. I know the change ain't gonna happen overnight, okay? A good girlfriend of mine, Takiya Nicole, y'all know from getting grown. You, don't you hate when you watch tell you? You're almost there. Get up. You thinking somebody tried to hit you up, they talk about get up. Anyway, over on the Instagram today, she said, you know what? Yesterday was a lot, and it was, honey. And she said, I... <laughs> All of this, I'm still underwhelmed. And I can agree. Yes, I looked at all of these photos. I looked at all the black magic up there. But then I was still like, okay, I'm inspired. But I'm still kind of like, huh. Uh, this shit ain't going nowhere overnight. That's all I'm saying. All the bullshit ain't going no nowhere overnight. And this really, I have to say, he who, he who must not be named presidency really just shined a light on the bullshit. Okay? So it's like, uh, where the bullshit gonna go? What, what we doing? So I'm just walking around like this, honey. Uh, this isn't even my dominant eye. I'm, mm, which one is best? See, it's all messed up. Oh, my head hurts. This was nice, okay? The inauguration was nice, but what are we doing moving forward? So, honey, I'm gonna just keep my eyes peeled. We gonna see what's gonna happen, okay? That's all we can do, honey. <sighs> Pray and hope for the best, child. Pray and hope for the best Some honorable mentions of this inauguration was our uh, garth brooks honey i didn't know that that man would bow leg like that the way he ran up them steps after he was hugging everybody and they said no you do not need to be doing that get your ass get, get your ass back up there j-lo none of them was hugging and they were doing this and i see you and that's what they were doing you were hugging and shit get your ass up there garth Honey, but here's another thing. I didn't even know that man had no... I didn't even know what the man head looked like. I didn't know if he had an LL Cool J point. I've always seen that man with a little cowboy hat on. Child, all the Bidens had on pantsuits. I see. Come on. Come on, lineage. Mm -hmm. They not gonna let Bernie live. Polo Bernie Sanders. They gonna let him live sitting up there with the mitts like this. He was done. Hey, you said this is some bullshit. Like, I'm sick of this shit. I'm ready to go. Can somebody give me a coffee? Like, he was just over himself. But the way they have turned him into so many memes, I am cackling to myself. But down below in the comment section, I would love to know what did you think about the inauguration? Let's talk about it. What are you thinking about the months to come? Honey, the year to come. I didn't say the years. I said the year. Actually, no. Take the year back. The next six months. What you thinking? Let's talk about this down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I I really do appreciate y'all and I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.